Hey everybody, it's Delta Shiny Zeta, and welcome to Eight Doors Arum's Afterlife Adventure, another title in the Metroidvania subgenre, and it is also out for the Switch. It actually came out um, digitally for the Switch uh, uh, late last year, but it didn't come out until physical for the Switch until essentially this month or last month, like mid February or early February. But anyway. This game is a bit of an interesting one. It's not too long, but it's not too short either, so you won't find yourself playing this for an incredible amount of time. But it is fun regardless. We're going to go ahead and do settings here. Okay, I don't need to do controller settings. Let's go to settings, screen shake off. We're all good there. Uh, let's go ahead and just start the game here. Um, I guess we'll go, eh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and do slot number two. I mean, why not, right? And just like that, we're going to begin this game. Alright, so the whole, like, story of this game, it's actually, um, it's explained only through visuals, essentially, so I'll actually just go ahead and let you all, um, witness this opening cutscene in terms of what's happening. Alright, so I guess by this point I should probably start speaking, but you got you got the premise of the, uh, you know, whole introduction of the game. I ended up diving in there. And it's interesting in terms of what's happening here. I mean, I'm getting some... Coming to the land of the dead. And oh, no, that's interesting. Arum, was it? Good luck. That says Charon. Okay, and just like that, we're right here. In a very strange area. There's a lot of water here. All we can do is walk to the right. Who is this? They never stop coming. This is Soul. What are you doing here? You're in search of your father? Death is inevitable. This is no place for you. Go back to where you belong. Help. You are an annoyance. Head to the Death Tavern and search there. I can't help you anymore. Take these if you need them. Well then. Alright, what could this be? So here we get... Um, basically some equipment, some items. We get the ba the basic attack of the game, which is the scythe. Oh, okay, tutorials here. We get to press B to jump, hold B to jump higher. Most Metroidvanias have that feature, where if you hold B, you actually end up jumping higher than usual. So uh, this is all tutorial right now, you know. Pretty much the entire area one of the game, which is the kingdom of Yama, is going to be tutorial. Attack. Press Y to attack. Repeatedly press Y to perform a combo attack. Each weapon has its own combo attack. Some attacks deal more damage. Okay, so here you get to see the attack. Uh, the attack is fairly slow, I will admit. It's not the fastest thing in the world. Here are the most basic enemies ever, and we get a coin. Nice. Press A when your health is low to restore HP by using potions. I'm not going to do that right now because I have not taken any damage, but that is something useful for, um, for later. 
Alright, so here we're going to attack this other enemy as well. Nice, nice. Jump down. Press B and, and down to jump down under the platform. Again, it's another very iconic feature of Metroidvanias. You simply just press down and you get to drop down through. Uh, let me just do one little thing here. Okay, there we go. I was just making sure that my um, computer was not going to be freezing or you know falling asleep during this recording. Alright, here's a treasure chest. Ooh, what is that? Nice. Get some more coins. Yeah, treasure chests in this game pretty much have coins, a lot more coins than what you would get from uh, fighting one enemy. So it is important to get them, and they are part of the 100% in, in case you're wondering. Ribbit, a specter! Wait, what? You're no specter. Did you come here alone, Ribbit? What? How? For real? That's nonsense. I must be dreaming. Oh my, is this surreal? To meet a living person here in the purgatory? What? You're here to find your father? Hmm. Hmm. I can't believe I'm doing this, but... Ribbit. I'll guide you to the Death Tavern. My name is Ducroak. The most merciful being in the purgatory you'll ever find. Many know me as the faithful Ducroak. You are fortunate to have met me. Wow. Okay. Now that you're with me, just follow my lead. The first place spirits visit in the purgatory is the Death Tavern. There you'll be able to find the whereabouts of your father. Ribbit. Alright, so the map of Purgatory, you simply press the minus button like most Metroidvanias and you get to see the map. There are two versions of each map. The first version is what you're seeing now. Basically, you don't get to see the actual landscape of each room. You just get to see giant squares or rectangles, which kind of give you an estimate of what the room looks like. Uh, the second one we'll get into in a bit. Press ZL to roll. You can evade obstacles and specters attacks by rolling. You can't roll while attacking and there are some obstacles and attacks from specters that you cannot dodge by rolling. Alright, so yeah, you get to roll like this. Here we go. The roll. This one's longer. You gotta be uh, dodging a little bit later. Here we got a new enemy. This one's actually pretty simple. Just charges at you just like the other type, but that's basically it. Okay. Let me go ahead and attack that enemy right there. Now let's go this way. Okay. Yeah. Right now the enemies are all pretty basic, as you can see. There's nothing... There's nothing complicated about this. Here's another treasure, though. We'll definitely take that. Okay, so now we'll keep going. Sure. What is this? Life is short and death is longer than you think. How, how would you like to cease to exist? Okay, these are basically save points in case you're wondering. Um, they will fully heal you. They will fully replenish your potion count to max of three. Um, and uh, they will save the game for you. Okay, here we get an enemy, and I believe there's a secret. Yep, there's a treasure right here. You just gotta know the game to know all the secrets. I mean, if you're playing this for the first time, just walk into any wall you see. I mean, there's a pretty low chance that you'll find something, but it is possible, like right there, for example. Here there are two ways to go. Um, I wonder if I can, can I even go? I'll go this way. Okay, that, that thing shoots stuff at you, so be very careful. It's a new type of enemy there. We've already fought a few of those. Okay. Okay, so this right here. I'm sorry, so sorry. Give me one more chance. Okay. That thing will come in handy in a bit, actually. You'll see what that actually is for. There's a treasure right there. Uh, we also can't reach up there. That looks like a save point. But it's actually not. So the save points in this game look similar to whatever that tower is, but I'll get to that in just a little bit. Uh, but, oh, why did I do that? Oh my god, that was the dumbest thing I could have actually done. Like, seriously. That was not ideal. Let's make our way through. Um, well, we'll have to actually go ahead and explore this area first, because essentially, um, there's two ways to go here, but I think... What I would like to do is, because I could go up, actually no, I don't want to go up, that doesn't make any sense. We're going to go to the left first, just because this way, uh, you'll see, it leads to a required ability, and basically the first ability of the, um, of the game that we will be getting, and you'll see, you'll see in just a bit. Here we get, uh, this is like, kind of like a little, a trap gauntlet, and actually it's not even a gauntlet, it's just fighting these three enemies that you see here, and, like that's it, but it is a trap room. And there we go, it opened up. Easy. Blessings to you, I found this place. 
Dawn of Death Guardian. The essence of extinct guardians of death. Pray to them to acquire their power and learn a new skill. Okay, so basically that's what these are for. The other one that we saw that looked like a save point, that's what this is. Um, this is the upgrade system of the game. It's kind of cool. You get three categories of perks. Every time you get one of these, um, you can see it on the bottom right, I have one. And you can actually use it. Now this one is forced. The game is forcing us to use it on this one specifically. Press ZR to transform. Um, do croak into, or that has the power of dual Xeni into its expanded form. This is the only time in the game where the game will force you to pick this upgrade. But basically you get to do this. This is your alternative version. And you can push blocks by actually utilizing this form. And you can come up here. Finally reach where I can stop running. Okay, sure. Um, you can also... You can also pull the blocks, um, and that was basically just a save point, so... Um, that's fine, it's not needed. Alright, now let's go... Yeah, we gotta go this way. It's, this is gonna introduce you to pulling, like I said. You can also pull the blocks, not just push. It's gonna be a gimmick that we'll see, um... I mean, I don't know, not too, too often in this game, but we will see it from time to time. Okay, let's just go ahead and deal with all these. Okay, there we go. So now, see that up there? You might be wondering, how do I do that? Well, there's actually a block up here. So if we pull or push it, we can make it go all the way down. And then we get to do this. Very nice. And here we get another one. A very Obtain a Dawn of Death Guardian. And again, every time you get one, you can go to Perks. And you can see. So we can actually use one right now. Increases the number of potions you can use by one. Increases the duration of invincibility after being hit. Um, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with this one here. So now we get to use four potions every time. Um, that's going to be our max. So every time we hit... Why did I go that way? Every time we... Um, end up hitting, or not hitting, touching, you know, a save point, we'll go to four, which is awesome. Okay, let's go all the way up this way. Okay, here I'm gonna be careful once again. Why did I, okay, that was really stupid of me. I don't know why I did that, I honestly don't know. Don't have a clue. Okay. Kill that thing, it's gonna be pretty straightforward here. Okay, we'll definitely fight these enemies. Alright, this thing here. How did you find this place? You came to the Purgatory alone, right? You were certainly an interesting one. I traveled to the Purgatory and draw maps. Nothing needs the excitement of adventure. Not sure how you got here, but, but do find me if you need... Ge what the heck? Okay. Yeah, geographical information. I'll give you everything I know. Mm-hmm. Basically, if you talk to him again after he introduces himself, you get to actually buy maps. You get to only buy the maps in the location that you find him, so right now we go into Kingdom of Yama, which is the first place. And it's like buy, and now if you press map, now we get the good map. We get to actually see um, literally everything. You can also zoom in like really closely if you really want to take a look at the, you know, certain things. I recommend turning everything on by pressing ZL. You get to see things like, um, those are going to be, um, well, I'll talk more about those later. I don't want to spoil anything, but yeah, the thing that I hate is that every time you go to the map, it goes back to its default zoom out thing, which is really garbage. I hate that mechanic. I wish it would save your zoom level because it's very annoying having to do that every time, but oh well. All right. We're gonna fight this, these guys here. Nice, nice. Alright, beat that one too. Up here is another save point. Those things always just have a line of dialogue, but I'm not really gonna read them. It's not important. Okay. Now let's go this way. Ooh, who is this? Spectres, those who are lost. Come with me. This is Myrtle, the first boss of the game. Together, we... Make a new world. Alright, Myrtleine. Alright, this is actually... Why did I do that? This guy's actually pretty easy. Um, 
You basically just want to dodge through him most of the time. He doesn't attack, that's all you need to do. Yeah, you can't see boss's HP in this game unless he uses a specific, um, once you have a perk that you and use a skill, you'll be able to see. Okay, this is part two. Basically, every boss in the game is a part two, where now they start changing their attacks a little more, as you saw right there. I keep falling for it, but I have potions, so I'm fine. There we go, got him. I don't flower, the red vein. I didn't even read what it said, but we got a flower, whatever that could be, right? We'll get into that um, a little bit later, but yeah, that's the first boss of the game. Uh, now we're gonna go... I mean, if I go down... I don't even know if I want to go down this way. Uh, no, I don't think so. There's like nothing over there. Right now, at least. We'll have to um, resort to that later. Stop. It's the world for the dead. You're a living person. Why did you come to purgatory? It's reckless of you to come all the way here. Death is inevitable. You can't change fate even if you do manage to find your father's soul. I hope you won't regret your choice. Hmm. Uh, one thing I would like to see... Actually, I don't need to do that. It's fine. Well, that was interesting. Let's keep going now. The Death Tavern. Okay, who's this right here? Hmm, you're new, right? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. I'm only here to sell my items. Hey, safety comes first when you're traveling to Purgatory. Why not buy my items? You'll be sorry if you don't. Give you a special discount, so come by any time. Okay. So, these things here, um, you can basically buy these, and they're essentially permanent upgrades. I'll talk more about these in a bit, but I'm going to go into Death Tavern uh, first. Okay, so here we get like a lot of, there's a lot of characters, but the one you want to talk to is the Tavern Master, here to sign up your soul. Dude, what's going on? I can explain. So your father and town villager suddenly died, and you came to the Purgatory to find your father. <laughs> That's just inevitable, little one. Every human dies eventually. It's amusing that you came to the Purgatory alone for such a reason. Well, since you're here, the least I can do is check. Girl, are you sure your father is dead? That's odd, his soul never stopped by. What a hassle. Hey, you. I don't intend to stop you from finding your father's soul, but I can't help stop what I'm doing here just to find one lost soul. This means you'll have to find him yourself. Are you sure you're up to this? Yes. Be careful. Do croak. Go to the observation deck with her. I'm afraid I'm too busy. So you have chosen death. I'm sorry, I'll get right on him. Oh my god. Listen carefully. First, visit the observation deck and ask where your father's soul is. If he's dead, he should be able to find his soul somewhere in the purgatory. After you've located him, you can go and find him. From now on, you'll travel around the purgatory as a temporary guardian of death. Now go. Okay. Guardian of death nameplate. A nameplate proves that the holder is a guardian of death. Gore. A gore that absorbs sin from your enemies. You can use the acquired sin energy to use skills. We'll talk about that later. Thurible. A thurible you can use to store fugitive souls. Okay. Nice. Um, those are the big things you actually wanted to essentially get from here. Um, I don't think I need to talk too much more about this. We're going to go here. Okay. And we're going to keep going. So our next objective is going to be over there. There's nothing else to do in the Death Tavern at the moment. So I'll just keep going. And again, you'll, you'll see why. You will actually see why. Um... Press X to use up your sin energy to use a skill. Each weapon has its own skill. Okay. So basically, if you do this, you get to get a Fugitive Soul. Fugitive Souls are another way to get um, skill points, which you'll see in a bit. Uh, but basically, if you go into your inventory, no, no, not perk, your inventory, your gourd right here, your, or thurible, whatever you call it, uh, it can store up to four fugitive souls at once. You have to empty them out into the tavern. So once you get four, or I mean less, go to the tavern and empty them. Every four you collect will actually net you two skill points, which is awesome. So if I get three more, I can get two skill points and I can use them 
which is amazing. So yes, you do want to get um, the Fugitive Souls. I mean, they are part of 100% in the game anyway, so... Like, you gotta do them anyway if you want to 100% the game. Okay, what is... over here? Okay, that a switch thing. I'm gonna have to actually go up to the top, I think. And, okay, these things. Be careful, these guys do more damage and they have more health as well. Let's go, let's go this way. As you can see, there's a block that we can push. Now some of you would be thinking, oh wait, but you passed the Fugitive Soul earlier, aren't you, aren't you gonna go back and get it? In a bit I will. Voluntary Traveler of Death. The land of the living and the purgatory used to be interconnected, and people could move freely between the two realms. But greed from the people of the land of the living blocked the passage to the purgatory, and nobody could freely come to the purgatory anymore. The realms were divided, and for a long time, no one came to the purgatory. Time passed, and came that could travel to pur and came people that could travel to the purgatory. Only few, wait, only few qualified people were able to do so. The souls of the purgatory call them voluntary travelers of death. Wow, that's um dark, I guess. Okay, um, so yeah, this is one of the many books. Um, they will stay on your map. Well, we, we, this is our new section, so we need a new map, basically. Um, there's a pipe down there that leads to something, but that's for a future area that we don't want to go to. So I'm just going to leave that behind. Um, I think we need to come up this way. But yeah, those books, you get some, like, lore, you know, some pretty useful information, I would say. Let's go up here. These actually restore your, um... Oh my god, your sin. So you get to use skills more, you know if you replenish that, which is nice. Okay, now we're gonna do some basic platforming here. We'll just keep going now. Um, let's see, let's drop down. I think I would like to drop down this way. Damn, I let him hit me. Oh, I want that, I for sure want that, okay. Yes, give me that, please. I think I missed a treasure chest in the other way, so I'll definitely grab it on the way back. Okay, I shouldn't be in the middle. I don't know what I'm doing. Hmm. I think... Uh, I'm trying to think of how I would... No, you know what? Let's go left. Okay, I can't go left. Never mind. We're gonna go right. We are going to... Yeah, I'll go, I'll go in here. The observatory. Bring me the record of the unobserved souls now. Hmm. What is this? Who are you? I've never seen you around. Your father? How outrageous. What kind of fool authorized you to be a guardian of death? It seems like the only reason for you coming here to the purgatory is your love towards your father. But in doing so, you are creating an imbalance between worlds. Stop causing trouble in return. What if I don't want to? Alright, let's go up here. Because from here, we're going to get access to this guy. The chief. I've never seen you before. I see that you have a garden of death in its death's nameplate. But you're here to answer to King Yama. So you're here to confirm your father's death. That's interesting. Who sent you here? It's surprising she helped you out. I'll check. It's pity to say, your father's soul has been seen in the purgatory. Your father is dead. It's normal procedure for souls to be this, that death tampered. But if there's no record of him stopping by, then it means he may be have escaped while being led by a guardian of death. If that's the case, your father would become a fugitive soul. Locating a particular fugitive soul is difficult, even a veteran guardian of death. The observation machine is under repair right now, so I can't help you. In this circumstance, it's almost impossible to track down one specific fugitive soul. You don't look like you don't look like going to give up. Yeah, some of the grammar is weird, right? Instead, I'll tell you where the last place he was found before the machine broke down. The last place your father was last seen is the Siochin Flower Garden. It's the highest point in the forest under the supervision of the Derodemian. To find your father's traces, head to the Siochin Flower Garden. I don't expect him to still be there, but this is the best I can do to help you. I'll imprint the authority of the stone mounted on your nameplate. It will be of great help. Press B to jump and press Z ZL to dash in mid-air. 
All right, so we got the deck. Yeah, we can't go that way, by the way. It's uh, it's blocked. But yes, we get the air dash. The air dash is obviously one of the most iconic abilities in Metroidvanias. Who's this? Well, I mean, we know who this is, but what's happening? Have obeyed your command and burned the Death Tavern Soul Guest Book. Well done. But... I don't understand how this helps to Purgatory. Is this question mark? Are you questioning my integrity? Didn't you always say that you wanted to make the Purgatory a better place? All of this is a process to make me govern the Purgatory instead of that incompetent Yama. Just do what I tell you to do. Wow. Regarding that girl who came to the Purgatory on her own. She's quite unpredictable. Keep an eye on her. Yes, sir. Okay. Alright, so now we're coming back left over here, this way. You may remember that this is, uh, this is a place that we couldn't actually go to in here, but now we can. If you just simply do an air dash, you will make it. And look at this, we're going to go ahead and use the scythe here. We take that fugitive soul, that puts us at two now. We just need two more. And we'll be in a good position to get some skill ups. Oh god, these guys are actually kind of difficult to dodge the first hit unless you dodge yourself, you know? Alright, so, I'm going to go ahead and kill these guys again. Okay, so with the air dash, um, because I'm thinking if I should just keep going forward, oh, it's because that's kind of far. Eh, I mean, not really. It is a bit of backtracking, but I have a plan. Instead of going that way, what I'm going to do is keep going forward for now. I'm going to go up here. Actually, wait a minute. I think I missed something. Aha. There's a treasure here with some more cash. We definitely use that. Okay. Also, do we have another perk? No, no, we don't. Okay, I'm just wondering. Just wondering. Let's go. I think actually I do want to go up there. Okay. Because I think up here actually there's going to be another. Yep, another feed of soul. That's the third one. Okay, we'll take it too. Shoot. I didn't mean that for that to happen. Let's actually go right here and take this one. Please do a treasure chest. Okay, we'll definitely take that. Oh god. That's fine. I, I gotta fight some enemies anyway. I'll leave the one down there though. My goal is to make it to the top left. Right this way. Okay, those things we're actually going to have to leave behind for now. There are enemies that shoot stuff at you, but you can't do anything with them right now. Like, if you try to get close to them, they will actually hide. Alright, beat that guy too. Cool, that's fine. Yeah, see? See how they hide? Try to hit them, nothing affects them. Whoops, I jumped a little too high right there. Alright, let's go left. Oh yeah, I don't have the map still. I keep looking and be like, oh, let's take a look at the map here. If you want to kill a thing in the middle, by the way, if you want to get rid of those zombies, I think we'll keep spawning zombies. Alright, and this here, we're just going to have to go through. Okay. We are slowly getting to where we need to be. Okay, I think somewhere here. Yep, there's a secret. Another one of these. Nice. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use the perk. And I'm actually going to... Increase coin drop amount. But we're going to go ahead and do that one. You want to increase co uh, coin amount relatively early in the game if you don't want to be grinding later for other... Like, for more money. Because uh, you do get more money like this naturally, so that's why I recommend doing that. Yeah, I at least have the magnet. The magnet's cool because you also don't have to be walking backwards, you know. 
to like, once you kill an enemy, sometimes you have to take a few steps backwards. That's not the case anymore. Which is pretty nice. There was a place to the left over there, but that was too high up for us, so we can't do anything with that yet. Yeah, see that? The money just comes to you automatically. Oh wow, okay. Uh, let's see here. No, there's... I think there's something over here. No, there's not. I lied. I completely lied to all of you. Oh, shoot. Yeah, watch out for the recoil. It can be a bit of an annoying thing. Not as bad as, like, Elderon, but it can still be pretty bad. Okay. Um, I think by this point... So now we've unlocked the warps, basically. Um... That's the second warp of the game. The first one is the actual tavern itself. Um, and I think, yes, I'm gonna get my fourth one soon, but let me take a look here real quick. Just to make sure. Yeah, I'm at three. Okay. So, basically this takes us up here at the top floor of the tavern. Um, but I don't want to do anything here right now. We're just gonna go all the way to the left. I'm not gonna turn in my Fugitive Souls yet. Because I still need to get, um... The last, yeah, there's some stuff over there that I do need to actually do. Um, because there's not going to be another way to do this. Even, even if I go up there to the top, I don't think... Oh yeah, I wouldn't be able to go over there. Okay, that's fine. So we're just going to go all the way back. Um, this might be a bit of a journey here. It's sort of a journey. I mean, it's not too bad. Let me just kind of look here. Okay, left and the left again. If I see any enemies, I will, of course, fight them to gain some additional coins, but it's not too big of a deal. I'll fight that one. Okay, now where? Down. And left here. Yeah, see, I think on the way, like, going to the other side, I'm going to need to fight them. Because it's going to be hard to get through these rooms without fighting them. Oh god, why did I do that? Okay, it's somewhere over here. Yeah, so we're going to go down and to the right. There's going to be two things we can get here. Okay, right here. We're going to go this. This is going to be another skill point. Now, I think the next skill point over would require two. Yes, it would. So we need to get one more skill point if we want to increase the amount of coins that we get. And I attack this fugitive soul, and that puts us at four. That's all we need to get some more skill points. So we are just going to go all the way back now. Yeah, let, let me let me fight these guys. I could use the I could use the money. We're at 198 now. Oh, I thought my jump was actually high enough, but it is not high enough. Alright, there we go. We don't need to push the block anymore because we have the air dash. And then from here, I'm gonna go back into the tavern. Yeah, because there's no warp um, before the tavern, so you do have to run all the way back there, unfortunately, but that is how it works. This was the boss room, we can just go right through that as well. And then up here is the tavern. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to deposit Fugitive Souls. Basically, if you go into the tavern, and you go down this way, there's going to be this character. Have you seen Red Spectres? Fugitive Souls who have an extreme resentment. Their hearts turn to Red Spectres. Their evil thoughts become an obsession, and they consume other Fugitive Souls and Souls alike. If you meet Red Spectres, make sure to be very careful. Okay, so all you basically do is do this, Pathfinding. And it says you still got a lot, a little present, and you get a hundred money and two dawn, which is skill points. So let's go ahead and use some of that. Um, we're gonna do no, not there. Here, increase coin drop amount. Nice. Um, I 
think I'm gonna save my dawn for some of this stuff, so yeah, let's go ahead and save that. And then the warp, to take the warp is actually over here. You dash this way, you take this door, and then you can take that one. I'm gonna go back up that way. Uh, we have to get the map from this area if we want to make any, or if we want to have any sense of direction here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll keep going. I think it's this way somewhere. I'm pretty sure. I mean, it like has to be. There we go. So now we get more money. I guess I should have done some improvements. I should have bought something from the tavern, but... I guess it's okay. That was a lot of money right there. <laughs> Alright, so this room is a its a pretty big one. Um, I do think, though, that the map is in here. If we go left here, I think. Yeah, there's a nice little secret right there. Just dash through these. Here he is. We're gonna say bye by the map. All right, so we have the map for area number two. Look at that. Okay. So I think all I can really be doing, cause I, I wanna look back over here, but yeah, there's not really much else I can do in these areas. Well, let me enable everything now. Okay. Yeah, everything has been mostly explored except there's a section kind of in between over there. I'll have to go there soon. Okay. So, yeah, I guess we're, we're pretty much done here then. In this room, I'm going to want to go up and almost like kind of around. So let's see what I can do here. This is a door. I think this is the correct way. At least I hope so. Okay, those two are... Yeah, we can't do anything with those. I think we just have to go... There might actually be something... Over here. There very well could be something here. I think there is. If I go up that way. Whoops. Well, I didn't... I didn't mean to go like that. No, I know. There we go. Oh, zombies. Nice. Another one of these. There's skill points. So now we, I think we can get another upgrade. We're going to do this one. Increase attack damage when HP is low. Sure. But I am going to go back this way. That area that we went to on the right, now we're going to go that way. We'll gladly save the game here, okay. Should we kill all these guys? Okay. Oh, do we want to make sure I... Oh, that thing still survived. There we go. Let's see here. I'm now in here. If I go down that... I think I might actually take me to the boss. Shoot. Well, I think that's what I need to do. Yeah. Oh, god damn it, I got stuck there for sure. No, you did it again! You freaking... What is going on here? Seriously, what is going on? I, I got my potions, I'm fine. What? That's a huge specter. Yeah, seriously. Be careful, ribbit. Alright. This is Dogze. Dogze. Fresh soul. Oh, great. Well, here we go. Alright, you had a good start there. I think I'm gonna actually use a potion there. I entered just a consequent potion just now. That was the first potion I think I've used. Okay. When he does that, that's the little earthquake thing. You wanna make sure you jump that. Okay, here comes phase two. Phase two is always uh, much harder because it's a much faster pace. Yeah, same just like that. Uh, use a potion. Not mean to do that. 
Damn it, you freaking... Let's use another potion. I got him. Yeah, just use your potions and you generally are going to be fine, I think. Um, so, yeah. What a relief. You could have been in serious trouble without me. What we just defeated back there is called the Spectre of Sin. They started suddenly showing up out of nowhere, but nobody knows how they came to be. I'm not getting a good feeling about our journey. Hmm. Alright, well that's it for this area, so now we're gonna go... I think we have to go down. Ooh, what is this? It's nice to see you again. Did you defeat him? You did well. My sword is fine, but it seems like I'm exhausted. What a shame to see me like this. It seems like this is it, kid. Keep us a secret from Clap, will you? Damn, he just straight up died. I'm going to block your way. Alright, so we get a new weapon. We get Kiddo's sword. You get to press, if you press L or R, you get to switch weapons. Um, and the sword allows you to actually deflect projectiles. I'm not even kidding you. So basically, if you stand like this, that's how you kill those enemies. That's exactly how you kill them. Alright, now let's grab these, uh, these goodies over here. There's a treasure chest right here. And then there is uh, you here. Ever felt that things were really tough for you? Well, guess what? Whoops, not that. Haha, you are a soul. That's a fugitive soul. Yeah, even... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I accidentally wasted my, uh, my stuff there. Oh, well. I mean, that's fine. Oh, shoot. I can actually get over here and, you know, be patient with this. Okay, so this will take us back. Oh man, I'm gonna need to actually go down to the left over there. Might be a good idea to go now. Let's see. How would I, what would be the fastest way? Because I know it's, yeah. It is actually a bit far, if I'm being honest though. Also, the sword is a little faster. Like, it has the same damage, but it's a tiny bit faster in attack rate, so it's not a bad idea to uh, utilize the sword for the majority of the time while you have, you know, both weapons. Pretty much just switch to the scythe if I want to use the skill to, you know, get fugitive souls. Oh, god damn it. Oh my god, I can't even see. Alright, and then it's, yeah, it's gonna be that way. Yeah, I don't even want to fight those guys because they don't even give you, like, um, coins. Like, the ones that spawn, I don't think they give you coins. I'm pretty sure they don't. Why did I... I'm getting real aggressive over here. Yeah, so, like, that's all I need. I can just leave the others behind. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. Come on. What the... Oh, my God. Yeah, you can't be too aggressive with that, you know? Okay, so this thing, and yeah, we don't need that. I think there should be a platform. Yes, there is. Now we have to wait for this thing. And here it is. That's basically it for here, because that just goes back around. So now I think what I actually have to do is just turn around. Oh my god, I didn't mean to fall there either. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm rushing things too much, and I'm not actually playing amazing, believe it or not. Alright, now we have to go, yeah, we gotta go left. Oh, actually, how many do I have now? Two. Oh, that requires three, though. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. Okay. Let's go, let's go. We still can't go up there and do anything about that. It's gonna actually have to wait. I'm down to my last potion. That, that just shows how much damage I've actually been taking. Which is not good. I'll just leave that guy behind this time. I don't even care. I genuinely do not care. Oh, perfect. There's a little save right here. Okay. Um, okay, we do have to actually keep going. 
How many fugitive souls do I have? I have only one? Oh my god. That's actually really bad. I thought I had more than that. We are up to 442 money, by the way. Alright, got those. Let's keep going. We still can't do anything in those particular areas. Um, yeah, but we do have to go, go this way. Oh my god. Don't you dare. Oh, I thought that one actually was a crumbly block, but no. There's a pathway to go down to the bottom right, but um, I can't actually do much over there if I were to go that way. So it is not worth it. Alright, now we're going to go up like this. And this time... Yeah, because I haven't done this, I don't think. There's some stuff here. There's a treasure chest in this one. And then this one has a fugitive soul. Whoops, not that. Alright, let's go. And we've done everything up there. We've even got, yep, we've got all that stuff, so. Now we're going into the third area of the game, actually, which is the Misty Forest. And yeah, see, this is how the game prevents you from uh, sequence breaking. You need to be the boss to actually get over here. There's a chest up there, and I'm not sure if I can actually do this. Yeah, probably not. That would be my guess. Yeah, I know. There's some stuff up there for sure in that room, but we just simply cannot do it right now. We simply cannot. Oh. Stone is blocking the road. How do we get through? Wow. Can't believe you're having trouble with that boulder. What a weakling. I hope you can find your father before the specters get you. What's his problem? He was all high and mighty because he helped us out once. His name is Sol, a prodigy handpicked to be guardian of death by Yama himself. I heard he helped out reapers to find fugitive souls in the land of the living, even during his days of living. He has since been scouted to be a guardian of death. He is good at it, but he has a foul tongue. Stupid kid. Anyways, let's go. Hmm. We're going to save the game here. Anyway, now we're going to keep going. Um, let me actually adjust something here really quick. I know I'm actually running out of time for this video. But, yeah, we just have to... Um... Okay, those are actually going to be some new enemies there. And they are... Uh... Well, actually, let's see here. I think you can just... Yeah, you can just do that. You can just, like, slide past them. You'll be fine for the most part. So there is a pathway to go down there. I don't know if... I... Whoops, I didn't want to do that. I don't know if I want to go up i mean i don't think there will actually like be anything noteworthy up here there's that thing which generates your sin but um outside of that uh not really let's just go this way i think this is a secret yeah this is going down and down here okay here we just gotta pay attention to the okay of course i say pay attention and i do it all wrong dude can you get out of there please okay um See, I think I actually want to go... I'm going to go left, I think. I'm pretty sure I want to go left here. Let's <clears throat> see if I have this right. Okay, you can also attack in frog form, by the way. I don't really do it because it does less damage per second than using your com your three combo attacks by using Aram. Um, but it's totally a thing that you can do. There is definitely something there. We'll have to leave that be for- oh, we can't even go there. What the heck? Okay, what am I doing then? Is there- oh, there are some secrets here. Okay, go right across. <clears throat> and we are- we're getting there. I need to see how many of these I have. I have two. Okay, that's actually good to know. I did not mean to use that. I accidentally just pressed the A button there. Uh, that's okay, though. How dare you come to this place? Seems like you don't know who I am. Hmm. Who are you? You're added to this Siochian flower garden to find this the father's lost soul. Follow the path upwards. The Siochian flower garden is on the highest point of the forest. You'll be needing this. The wall jump. Yes. Okay. So, 
I think I should actually go back because... Fuck yeah, there's some stuff to do here, of course. We'll, we'll hit this thing. Give me that. There's also a thing we can get up there, but not yet. I'm going to turn back a little bit because I think there is one of these little pathways here. <clears throat> it will actually take us into... Oh, you want to go? Where does this go? Oh, it's just an enemy. I don't think there's anything here. Looks like there is, but there's not. I also have to, uh... I gotta get the map of this place eventually. That way it'll make it a little easier. Well, you know what? See, I am going the wrong way, because I don't think this is actually ideal. Like, this pathway that I'm doing here. Oh, man. Nah, I think it's fine. Because what I want to do... See, I did actually end up missing something. Damn it! Okay, this is not ideal now. <clears throat> There's actually a better way to do this. And it's specifically by, by taking the um, the lower path. But first, I'm going to want to get the item here. I think I can do it. Yeah, this one here. We're going to go like this. This is going to make some... Uh, <clears throat> some platforms appear. And look at that. Nice. Okay. So, I can't do anything else here. We're just gonna go this way. But Okay, wait. See, wait a minute. What, what am I doing, man? We want to take this one. I think. The reason why is because down here there's actually two lost souls we can get. Now we can actually go to this thing, hit it, and that will take us over here. Oh damn it, these stupid things. Yeah, I gotta start spending my money once I get back to the shop again. Okay, where is the... yeah, there's this little secret right here. Don't worry, there's no swimming in this game. I can see why that would trick some people. You're like, well, I can't do anything here until I get the swimming ability. But funny enough, there's actually no swimming ability in this game. Like, underwater swimming, I mean. <clears throat> okay. Oh, damn. Okay, so here we're gonna just do some wall jumps. Pretty simple. Ah, oh, look at this. We have to do that. Oh, wait, this is not the... What, you? You're gonna go back to the land of the living? Wait, as a garden of death name nameplate. You become a guardian of death? Nothing you can do now. Let's make the best out of this situation. My name is Faith. I'm on a mission to track down fugitive souls. The problem is that my thurible is full. Help me out if you find any fugitive souls around here, okay? Uh, okay. Shoot. We'll grab this one. Uh, we do want to hit this one for sure. Ooh, that did not give me a whole lot. I better have enough to do one more here. Because I wasted one. That was my bad. Oh no. Yeah, that was my fault for thinking that that was a fugitive soul that I actually needed to uh, get to. So what I have to do now... This is what sometimes can be a problem. Um, the only way to do this... If you are, if you don't have any of this left, you know, when you need some... The only way that I've you know, been able to find what you can do is you go back and fight more enemies. And if there's no more in the room, then you have to zone out and zone back in. It's that simple. Annoying, yes, for sure. But, you know, whatever. Oh, shoot. Okay. I also have to end the video very, very soon. I know that we're running out of time here. Also, I should use a potion. Like, what the heck, dude? Oh my god, get... There we go. That's another one. You... What the freaking... Fine, do it like this, then. Found one already? Oh, so you already met the Forest Keeper. It says it's Orr when I met you. Want to hear something cool? Always fishing, looking now. Okay, whatever. I don't think he, this guy says anything. No, damn it, that's not what I wanted to do. 
fugitive soul, purgatory. Hmm, then I'll give you some valuable information. There's, there's a fugitive soul on top of this forest. Hmm. Okay, I do actually have to uh, be very careful here, though. Because I took so much damage. Yeah, that's all I have left there. Okay, so... <clears throat> I actually have to empty these things out, so I think the best thing to do, believe it or not, is to get out of here and go back. This is not going to be easy. Okay, I'm looking at the pattern here. What? How did that hit me? That's ridiculous, man. That is so... That's... Dude, that's... That is a situa situation of bad game design there. They meant to space out those flowers a little bit more. You know? But obviously they didn't. Because <laughs> it's impossible there. Even if you like, are timing them correctly, you'll still take damage. Okay. So, I need to keep going over to the right here. I'm just being very careful about how I move around here. There we go. I made it. Okay. I... Oh, man. No, I, I should be going all the way back. I, I hate to do this. But it's also my fault because I didn't upgrade my thurble, which I know I should have. I really should have done that. Come on. So wait, I got this, right? I did not. How did I not get this? Oh, I didn't get... Oh, see, that's why I didn't get these yet. My bad. I, you could have gone these earlier. No, no, you actually can't. No, because we need the wall jump. That's right. Okay, never mind. I'm, I'm definitely confusing myself. But at least I... Okay, it's good that I came back here and at least got that then, because... You know... Alright, so I need to make it back. We gotta go down like this to the left. And yeah, I'm trying to make it down to the warp specifically, in case you're wondering. <clears throat> because... Definitely need that. Um... Shoot. God. <clears throat> okay, kill these guys. Getting a lot of money at least. That's, you know, a big priority in this game. Get money so you can get some upgrades. Okay, finally made it. Let's go. Alright, so I'm going to end things here. So before in this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoy the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye everyone. Have a great day.